Alright, hey everybody. This is Brian again from PMB Homesteading. Wanted to show you take two of doing my <laughs> critical mass mint. So the first batch, you saw that I, I did the clones, put them in the uh, little grow tent here, little mini greenhouse, and uh, they seem to do okay. I potted them up into the coconut core, and when I did that, they just slowly started dying. They, uh, I believe the coconut core was not, it was too dense and it was retaining too much moisture and it basically killed off all the plants. So I even tried to uh, repot one of them that looked like it was surviving and uh, it didn't seem to work because I went ahead and got my normal mix that I use with the, uh, some perlite. And I mixed that together, gave it a nice airy mix and I put that in and it still ended up dying off. So I got some more cuttings and this is going to be round two and I'm doing things a little more different than what I did before. I'm going back to the way that I clone things instead of what I saw some people doing on the internet. And uh, so let me, let me take the lid off here and I'll show you what I'm doing. I'll grab the camera. So I've got, I've got this set. So this, these are about four days now. This is the fourth day of them in this little mini greenhouse. I've got the vents closed on this and I'm going to open these up to about an eighth of an inch today, about that far on all of these to start giving it some airflow. And what I did with these clones is I used my dry mix. So before I used the Clonex, the gel along with the dry rooting hormone. And this time I only used the dry rooting hormone because I've had way better luck in my other cloning that I've done for my outdoor grows of, you know, shrubs and, you know, bushes. So I wanted to try that. And then I'm using the same peat plugs from Rupid Rapid Rooter. And what I did is I took these plugs, I cut them down the side, I split them open, and then I took my clones and as I cut them and I cut off the bottom leaves and I left like some of them have two nodes and some have one node on there. And I took those put those into this mixture here of seaweed extract, or some people call it kale extract. Um, so that's got maybe, you know, eighth of it is about the seaweed extract, the rest of it's water. So it's not too concentrated, but it's a good mix. And I take that and I stuck the clones in there for about a half an hour to get them soaking in that, to try to get some of that sucked up into the inside there. And then I took that dip that in the rooting hormone and in these plugs that I split in half I then put them in the middle and I squeezed it around the outside of it you know that they're inside the the hole and I squeezed it around it and I stuck them in here so that way when I was sticking them into the media it's not pushing off all that rooting hormone so it's leaving a lot of that root hormone on the nodes themselves without trying to shove them in there and these things seem to be doing pretty good I mean they haven't uh, started to change leaf color or anything like that and I'm hoping that I'm going to have some pretty good germination on the roots, but uh, I want to check probably at the end of this week, I'll pull a couple of these out and see how well I'm doing on the root growth. But uh, I think it seems to be a lot happier. And then I'm also using this uh, turkey baster and I suck up a little bit of this and I'm dripping it right into there to keep this moist. Not too moist. I just did it. So it's a little bit, you know, you can see a little bit of the moisture there kind of squish out, but uh, they're not, they don't seem to be uh, having any problems. And it seems to be a lot better than the last time I tried to do this. So I keep you guys updated on that. And hopefully I'll get some uh, nice clones out of this. Of my critical mass mint. Alright guys, this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. Talk to you again.